everybody, I am Bigfoot, and welcome back to Disturbed. Now, I'm recording this right after the last episode, um, because I just, I decided, why, why would I just end everything here and go back another time? Because, I, I just, I don't think I've ever done that before, I think I have, I don't know though. So, we're just gonna go right back into this, and we're gonna enter. <laughs> Hooray! So much plague virus, so much all that stuff. Standing before the tower, your heart begins to sink. There is no doubt the birthplace of the spreading plague. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize this last time. This is where all the plague started. Wow, I'm surprised because... Unless I'm totally blind, I don't remember there being that much stuff back where I just was. Birthplace, okay, wow, this is interesting. There is a fountain before you with the status on your right and left. With status? St I don't, I, with statues. Is that, I don't even know. Whoa, there's a lot of options. Holy crap, okay. Enter the tower. Okay, let's go from the top and all the way back to the bottom. Uh, so first let's just, actually wait. Let's go from the bottom to the top, because I want to see what this has. This. Yeah, there is a lot of that plague stuff near up there. Uh, into the gateway. Okay, so let's just go back to the gate, and let's enter. Okay, so I, I did this one. Inspect the statue on the right. It's gonna kill me, but okay. Oh! I didn't even realize that this is what I was talking about. I thought I was inside of somewhere, but I'm not. I'm still outside. Oh, hi, dude. Uh, before you, before you stands an old angel statue that has broke into, that has broke in many areas. With one hand on the angel is holding some sort of bowl. On the other hand is hovering over the bowl. You notice that there is only two remaining fingers on the angel's other hand. Oh, you're right. Okay. You feel you should keep your distance and just observe the statue. You know, let's kill ourselves instead by messing up with it. Messing with it, I should say. Oh! Oh, wait, this doesn't give me an option? Take it. Okay, it doesn't give me an option, okay. Inspect my statue. Inspect the statue on the left. Wow. Uh, you see an old statue of an angel that has been consumed by vines of thorn. Wait, what? You see an old statue of an angel that has been consumed by vines of thorn. I, I don't really understand what that just said. But I can kind of see what it is. The angel is holding... A book upon one hand and the other one finger pointed up towards the sky you feel it's best to leave the statue alone and there's there's no option to do anything else okay uh so let's inspect the fountain this is what's gonna kill me from I'm probably gonna end up touching it and I'm probably gonna end up dying from the grossness of how germy it is there is a dark haze um about the fountain the water is black, and the smell burns with every breath. Now, let me just process that. <laughs> well, after processing that, that's actually pretty gross. Uh, okay. You feel a slight pull towards the fountain, as if it were calling for something. That's the same thing that happened when I was in with that pearl in that lake. So, this just has bad rain all over it. Uh, wait. Seriously? Inspect the fountain. Feel okay. Let's enter the tower. You approach the door. You reach for the doorknob, and an invisible barrier stops you. Oh snap! It must be some sort of magic. Probably Harry Potter up in this. Wait, is that it? Inspect the tower. You approach the door. Barrier stops you. Is that it? Well, okay. I, th I expected something bad would happen. Uh, okay, wait. What happens if I inspect the uh, gaze? Feels like poor soldiers if you're calling for something. 
why doesn't it give me an option to go towards it? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go to the, uh, I remember there being, like, a tree code thing somewhere. And then just to see, hold cards into it. Uh, let's check out the tree. What's up, tree? You approach the tree and notice the hole is big enough to fit your hand into it. Yeah, I remember this is what I did in, like, one of my past episodes on this. Yeah, you look towards the shiny hole as if for a mental feeling around your hand. You feel three knobs, one on the right, one centered in the middle, and one on the left. Uh, press the knobs. Uh, now I'm pretty sure there has to be some sort of code here. <gasps> now, I don't remember much of what the guy said in that book, but remember when we went to that, uh, cabin with the evil demon lady in it, and there was a book there? Now, I didn't pay attention to much of that, what that book said. I don't remember it, but I think the code might be in one of those books. Might be in that book, somehow. Press left knob, okay. Back in place, wait for no, nothing happens. Some sort of, must be some sort of combination. We wait for no, nothing happens. Must be so okay, I'm gonna keep just doing this until some happens this time. And if I seriously try everyone that I can think of, and nothing, and still nothing happens, then, um, yeah. Then I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I just realized that you can actually press more, you can actually press the same one more than once. So obviously that's going to make my decisions a lot harder. So I'm going to go back to the uh, door place, if I can. Wait a minute. What? Wait, what? I didn't even read what that said. I clicked the, I think I clicked the left one, and then the right, and then right. Holy crap! I didn't, okay, I don't even know what's safe now, I'm speechless, I thought nothing was gonna happen. Okay, I guess that was just a guessing game. You hear the rumbling of rocks as the ground starts to shift, um, underneath you. Everything goes dark, and you sink below the surface. Wait, is this good or bad? The hole, the hole above you seals up, trapping you underground. Whoa! You find yourself with no evidence, no way, with no evidence way out but the path before you into the darkness. Your only choice is to move forward. Well, I'm definitely gonna die. Oh, really? You're gonna play this game with me. You see three separate paths within the walls of the cavern. Which path do you choose? Okay. I'm gonna leave this video here. When I was pressing those knobs, I was just like pressing random ones, but then I realized you can press one knob more than once. So it could have been like left it could have been like left, left, middle, or like middle, right, right. And then I just so happened to click, I just so happened to, I think it was either left, right, right, or it was right, left, left. It was just, whichever one was on top, I did top, top. I did top, down, down, um, if that makes any sense. Um, sorry if it doesn't. But, and then it just said they all knock in place, but then... As I was talking, all of a sudden, it just, when I clicked to go back, because I was going to see if the book in that house had the combination, all of a sudden, I just heard it be like, whoa, and then, like, it was unlocked, so it went to here. So, um, I'll check out these three ones, or maybe just two, in the next episode, but holy crap, right when I thought I pretty much beat the game, not even close. But anyway, thank everyone so much for watching. I'll see all you guys in the next video. And